Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Fabi Fitzgerald and in today's class I will be talking to you about tangible versus intangible nouns. Now, we all know that a noun is a person, a place, or a thing, or people, places, and things. And remember that things also include intangible things. This means that they cannot be perceived by the senses. For example, intelligence, ethics, honesty, they are things, but they are intangible. They are ideas or thoughts. PhD in economics is also an intangible noun. Well, let's start with the first example. It says a student, tangible noun, brought Fabi, tangible noun, and Apple, another tangible noun. They are all tangible because they can be heard, they can be felt, they can be smelt, they can be heard, and they can be tasted. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, the apple can be tasted. Maybe <laughs> Fabi can be tasted too, but well, anyways. The next one says, <laughs> Samantha is working on her PhD in economics. Right here, this noun, this proper noun, by the way, is a tangible noun. And PhD in economics is an intangible noun. Why? Because you cannot perceive this with your senses. But you know it's a thought, it's an idea. So remember, intangible nouns is, are some things or some nouns that cannot be perceived by your senses. And the next one says, Jonathan, tangible noun, will find a job intangible noun because it is an idea or a thought. Soon, Kathy, tangible noun, admires intelligence, ethics, and above all, honesty. We have Kathy, who is or which is an, a tangible noun because you can see it, you can touch it, you can smell it. And intelligence is an intangible noun because it is an idea. Ethics is also an idea or a thought and honesty too. All right, next I will be moving to some practice sentences so that you can get this clearer and practice along with me. Don't move. Now we are going to look at these three examples and figure out which of these are tangible and intangible nouns. The first example says, my mother told me, my mother is our first noun, so it's a tangible noun. We're just going to put a T, tangible, well, T in, noun. Told me that she would buy me a car. Car is a tangible noun also. Is she a noun or me? No, those are pronouns. Do not get confused with those. All right, next one. If people created conscience, if people created conscience, we know that nouns are people, places, or things, so tangible noun. If people created conscience, intangible noun or idea, and responsibility, Another intangible noun, as you can see, our vocabulary is full of tangible and intangible nouns. Toward, towards, I'm sorry, the environment, tangible noun. We would not have to worry about global warming. This is an intangible Noun. And the last one says, time is money, but health is all. Time. Intangible noun. Money. Tangible noun. Health. Intangible noun. All right, so 
As you can see, intangible nouns are not perceived by the senses, and tangible nouns are perceived by the senses. All right, next, I will leave you some homework because remember that practice makes perfect and you don't only need, you do not only need to watch a basketball game to learn how to play. You got to go in there and play. So practice and be perfect. For homework, you are going to write four sentences using tangible nouns. I'm for, I forgot the S here, I'm sorry. Tangible nouns in capital letters and intangible nouns in parentheses. Remember, if you have a workbook, go ahead and write them in your workbook. If you want feedback and you have a workbook, do, do your homework in the workbook and in the comment section below this video. And for those of you who don't have one, please leave your homework in the comment section below this video. I will be more than happy to see your homework and to have feedback from you, all of you YouTube viewers. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Fabi Fitzgerald, and I'll see you in my next video. Would you like to watch my next video? video Click on the television to the right. Lesson, I will be talking to you about tricky noun plurals. I put the number one there.